always thought what are the best foundations. Here in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 foundations that I love and I think that you should know about. Hello, my name is Leonor, I'm a makeup artist and a makeup lover and here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup like makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, makeup tips so in here you can always find everything about makeup and today I'm going to share with you my top 5 of foundations the foundations that I love and that I use a lot and as a makeup artist and as a makeup channel reviewer I have already tried a good amount of foundations even though I would love to already try it so much more because there are so much foundations on the market but because there are so many it's very difficult to try all of them but these five I love and I preach for I think that they are amazing and as I'm showing you all the foundations I'm going to be telling you why I like them what's the coverage what's the finish of them so you know what you can count on every single five of the foundations that I'm going to show you the first foundation that I'm going to show you it's this one in here from the Nessa Myrix the vision cream cover and I really have to say that this is a foundation that I loved since the minute that I tried it. First time that I tried it, I bought the mini ones that they have to try. This one right now, it's the one that is on my makeup artist kit, the ones that I use on my clients. And for me to use on my clients, you might understand that I really like. This is a foundation that can be also used as a concealer. That's why they don't say that it's like a foundation. They say that it's a vision cream cover because you can use it as foundation and as concealer. Sometimes it's the only thing that I use. I don't use any kind of concealer. I use this color and then if I want the conceal to be a little bit lighter, I have one, both of this one, but a white and I mix a little bit with this one and I can do a um, look on the under eyes a little bit lighter. It's a sheer to buildable full coverage foundation. It's long wear. It's one of the foundations that I feel like it's more long wear. That's why I love to use it on my clients, especially on my brides, because I know that they're going to be with the foundation all day, taking pictures, like giving kisses to everyone. I want the makeup to look beautiful in the beginning and in the end of the day because it's their special day. So this is the one that I've been using on my clients the most, especially on my brides. This one has a really full coverage. If you want, you can spread it more in. It doesn't look as full coverage. And if you have that product that you can mix to look a little bit more liquid, you can also, but I don't think that you need that. I hear a lot of people saying that this one is a little bit matte. I don't think so. It depends with the powder that you are going to apply it with. If you apply it with the powder from the Nessa Myrix, it's not going to. But if you apply it with a powder that's a little bit more matte, like the Creole One one, it's going to. The next one, it's going to be the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. This one it's blurring so it's going to blur the pores that's what i love about this one and this one also oxidize when you apply it when you are choosing your color you have to be careful because it's going to be a little bit more dark than the color that you are choosing the one that i have it's the sixth one it's the color that i use on summer right now it's not <laughs> an amazing color for me right now it would be probably the number four and this one is sweat humidity waterproof it's also transfer resistant so it's a really good foundation I'm going to see that all of the foundations that i'm going to share with you they are proof to something because it's the way that they are going to give you more duration that are going to be more beautiful on your skin throughout the day i tried their brush follows like two years ago or three years ago and i still love it so much i think that gives a beautiful finish to the skin it's blurring as i told you like your skin looks like a baby doll so beautiful you just have to choose the right color for you and i really love it because of the duration because of the finish that it gives to the skin if you don't like as much the matte kind of finish probably are not going to like it as much but if you like to see your skin like a doll like you don't have pores this is a perfect one and 
it has an amazing duration on the skin. Hold up a little bit before I talk about the other three foundations. I want to remind you to go down there and click on the thumbs up button if you are liking this video for me to know if you are enjoying the content that I'm creating here for my YouTube channel. And now the third one, we have a drugstore one. It's the only drugstore foundation that I have in here on this video. It's from Catrice to HD liquid coverage. And I really have to say that when I bought it, I wasn't expecting it to like it as much. I tried it just to see what everyone was talking about, if it was a good foundation or not. And I have to say that I got really happy with this one. <laughs> it's a weightless foundation, it's velvety matte, it has a high coverage and long wear, and it's also water, sweat and transfer proof. It's a foundation that looks beautiful on the skin. It's the one that I'm using today, so you can see that my skin is looking so beautiful and it only cost me like less than 10 euros. It's a matte one, if you don't like matte foundations, I don't know if you are going to like it, but if you do, I think that you will love this one. And if you have a tight budget, this is amazing. This one also has niacinamide. This is the new version of the foundation because they had an older one. The new one has niacinamide that is very good for the skin. I think that that also helps for the skin to look beautiful during the day because it's going to give you some treatment. That's other thing that I like about the Charlotte Tilbury that I talked earlier because that one also has amazing ingredients on the formula. But as I told you, I wasn't expecting it to like it as much. I think that the skin, when you apply the foundation, looks beautiful but during the day it also looks beautiful doesn't mark too much on the fine lines or anything like that i have mine in here this one and it's marking a little bit but i have other foundations that mark so much more and i love that it's a weightless foundation because even though it's matte it's velvety matte it's not very heavy on the skin, it doesn't look very heavy, even though you have a full coverage. I really have to say that for a drugstore foundation, they really nailed it. They went there in all of the ingredients, they did an amazing formula. The next one, it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This one is also long wear, it's matte and it's full coverage. You can also buy less product and you can do more of a medium coverage if you want. All of the foundation that I already talked about, if you apply less product, you can do a more medium coverage. It's sweat, heat and humidity resistant and it's waterproof. And the color that I use, it's the 2W1. This is a foundation that I grab so much more that I go in my drawer and I pick it so much because it makes a beautiful skin. When I apply the foundation, my skin looks beautiful, but also in the end of the day, I come to the mirror and I look at myself and I'm like, oh my God, it looks beautiful. Your skin still looks beautiful. I love foundations that are long wear, that are going to give me a security, that I'm going to feel safe using them. So it's one that I had to put in here. The skin looks very flawless full coverage or medium coverage if you want. Last times that I used this one, that's what I did. I applied more of a medium coverage and it looks beautiful. You feel like you have your skin beautiful, but not with too much makeup, with too much foundation. It really is one of my favorites. The first time that I applied it, I instantly loved it. I have a review of this one. If you want to see, I'm going to link it up here. If you want to go and check it out, I did a wear test as well. You can see how it looks when I applied it and in the end of the day. Now, before I talk about the last foundation, I want to know which is your favorite one. I want to know what you like about your favorite foundation, which one it is, because maybe I've already tried it or maybe I don't and I need to. So go down there in the comments area and tell me. Now the last one, it's from a brand that I really love. It's the brand that I took my makeup course with. It's Makeup Forever, it's the HD Skin. When I did my makeup course, this one wasn't avail available yet. It was the other HD and I love the other one. So when this one came out, 
I had to try this one for me to see if I like it as much as I did the other one. And I like this one even better than the other one. This is a medium to full coverage, so you can construct this one. I prefer to use it as a medium coverage. I think that it looks better with a medium coverage than with a full one. It gives a natural finish of the foundations that I showed you. This is the one that looks more natural. It's not matte. It's more shimmer, so the other ones are matte, this is not. And it's also waterproof and sweatproof for a foundation that it's not matte. I think that it's amazing that it has these two things. When I tried it for the first time, I really was happy that they had a new one coming. Even though I like the other one, I always thought that were some things that I didn't like. And when I tried this one, I felt like they got the things that I didn't like so much better. This one looks so beautiful on the skin, it's so hydrating and this one looks amazing on camera. It's one of the foundations that I most like to use when I'm filming here because it looks so beautiful on the skin, that's why it's called HD. All of the line that they have, the HD is for filming, it's for makeup artists to use on films when they have cameras, lights and all of that. But even though it's good for camera, it's also good to wear on a daily basis. I grab this one a lot because I feel like it gives me an amazing skin. So I always grab it. Of all of the five, if you like a more natural finish, this is the one, the others are more matte. Even though you have to be careful with the powder that you are going to set it with, I always set my foundations and my concealers. I don't like to use just foundation and don't set it. I always feel like it's too creamy and it's going to come out so much easier, so I always apply powder. If you want this one to not be matte, you have to be careful with the powder that you are going to use it because powder that I talked earlier, the Crayola, that's really matte, so I wouldn't use it with this foundation. Choose other that you like, that you don't feel like it's so matte. As I told you already, I grab it for camera, for daily basis, for everything. <laughs> and if you find this video helpful and you want to see more videos, more content from me, don't forget to go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all the notifications when I upload new videos. And if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to also click on the thumbs up. And I'm also going to leave all the other social media that I use so you can go there and follow me as well. And now I just want to thank you so much for being here, for watching my video until the end. I really hope that you like this one and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!